Joining us now with more is Bob Michael, uh, J.P. Morgan Asset uh, or Management Chief Investment Officer and Head of Global Fixed Income. For a long time, Bob, welcome. It's good to see you uh, on set here. For a long time, there was a disconnect between the Fed and where long rates were. We were saying, why is this? And people said, well, treasuries are still popular around the world and uh, you know, we still have a, a good risk-adjusted yields here. So. Uh, they explain the inverted yield curve. Suddenly it moves. The Fed only goes up a quarter of a, of a point, and the 10-year moves a point and a half. What happened? What, what psychologically happened? What changed? Supply? Well, I, I think for a long time the market thought the Fed was raising rates at a pace that something would break, and it did, the regional banking system. And the feeling was at some point the Fed would have to pause, otherwise they'd run us right into recession. So you wanted to buy every backup in yields. Coming out of the last FOMC meeting two weeks ago, I think that's really when the bond market broke down because everyone looked at the dots and saw that they took two cuts out next year and the rhetoric coming out of the Fed the last two weeks has been uniform. It's not only higher for longer, it sounds like higher forever and it sounds like when you listen to Susan Collins, a rate cut isn't even on the table. If they do anything, it will be another rate hike. And I think the holders of the long end of the market are saying, why do I want to give yield and carry to hold the long end if they're not going to cut rates anytime soon? I'm out of there. I'm going into the front end. I think the Fed's getting what it wants. It's getting the long end to rise. Right, without doing anything. And, and, and long, longer duration holders are asking for more. You've got to pay me if, if I'm going uh, to take that, that chance. Yeah, absolutely. That. You only go on the long end if you think... The Fed's about to cut rates over the next so couple quarters. So doesn't it make it more likely now that the Fed will cut? So they remove it from the dot plots. That causes people to, to, to not buy the longer duration. We're, Yields go up, and now they, they, they're going to need to cut because they're gonna, the, the economy is going to be slower. We're doing their dirty work. And if I go back to 2005... We're a fool to do their dirty work. <laughs> well, you go back to the, the, the Greenspan conundrum, which is... I'm raising rates and the long end is anchored. What's going on? So what he did is he raised rates a lot higher. This Fed doesn't want to do that. They want the long end to go up and they're using their words to get it up and they're getting it. They're tightening financial conditions. Bill Gross said yesterday in an interview on Bloomberg that he thought that this was the retail investor actually jumping on board and selling too. He called them basically mini bond vigilantes said that they're getting involved with this, but that implies that this is a short-lived increase in interest rates. Do you agree? No, I don't agree with that. And, and we see every kind of investor, and the one consistent inflow that we're seeing is from our wealth management platform. And as yields have backed up, we're seeing an escalation in new accounts that are opening. And in fact, today I've got like three calls lined up with wealth management platforms to get into this market. It's the institutional investor, it's the plan sponsor, the insurance company, the pension fund that's stepping back. They want to see where this washes out. They want to see if they get a chance to buy the long end of the market closer to five, five and a quarter percent. And think, we're getting there. You think we'll get that opportunity? You think they will get that opportunity? I hope not, but that feels like the worst case to us. We just can't see at this point in the cycle the entire yield curve going above the Fed funds rate. So we've already done 100, 150 basis points. What's another 40 basis points? Would you call long rates, is it too much to say that they're unmoored at this point? They became unanchored two weeks ago. What I'd like to see is the employment data. If the employment data Friday comes in around expectations and the market rallies a little bit and then sells off, that tells me there's more of a washout yet to come. How long have you been doing this? A long time, Bob? Too, too long. So you probably got a lot of money after all this. Would you bet the house that we don't see 8%? So... <laughs> I, I'm, You're taking a long time. I, I am so grateful that the head of our bank isn't drawn into my world of trying to guess the next 50 basis is that, points from the Is Fed. it completely impossible that in the next five years we go significantly higher? Or oh, no, not, not at all. And I think you know, certainly that was a stress test to the market and the bank has to be prepared for When that. do things break? When do things break? I, I, Something break. Well, I, I think we've just delivered another rate shock 
to the system. Um, I don't know about central business district, commercial real estate. That hasn't Could be been any solved day, is, there, is what you're saying? We're there already? Are we at a point where there is some stress we don't know about under the surface? Well, we knew six months ago that rates at those levels took out the regional banking system. It, definitely these rate shocks create some sort of stress. I'm all on board that the last 15 years weren't normal, that we're going back to something that right. looks like pre-financial right. crisis. I don't know that you get there all at once. After all, it took 27 years to go from 20 from 20 percent down to zero percent. I, I think the Fed has raised rates high enough here. I think recession is in the frame around year end into the first quarter. I actually think they'll end up cutting rates to three percent over the next couple of years. You're saying things that you're being very definitive. Have you thought this through? I mean, you really just said a lot of things. So I do, have to think it through. So we're, we, so we're going to have a recession everything. is in the cards. There will be a cut next year. They're done raising for now. That's certainly the way it looks to us. Inflation hmm. is already at their target. You take core personal consumption expenditures the last three months and annualize it. So that's your current run rate. 2.16 percent. You have a boss? You're going to get taken to the woodshed. You are when you go back there today. They're going, Bob, what were you thinking? You actually said some things. Well, we get to uh, those. Are, I kind of those are the, a lot of the conclusions that I was. You know, nobody cares what I think, but that's what, sort of where I was, too. I thought of watching the, the tenure makes me think that, that now cuts are back are definitely in the cards now. And I didn't see why there would be cuts prior to this. But they, now, they have tightened financial conditions dramatically that will have an impact. We're already seeing that the housing market is completely unaffordable. It's actually at the lowest level of affordability since they started looking at the data going back to 1986.